off. And to be fair, the Republican Congress as well. I mean, the Bush administration didn't take action against Pakistan. And they certainly knew that Pakistan was hurting American soldiers in Afghanistan. Bush didn't do anything. Everybody's afraid. They're afraid to confront the jihad. And the jihadists know it. They think we're weak. They think they can do whatever they want to do. They're plotting, even at this moment while we're speaking, to kill us. If they can kill us, they'll kill us. All right? China helps them. Russia helps them. All right? We can't do anything against that. Turkey. Turkey. We even let us uh, go in there and fight ISIS, you know, and, and we don't do anything to them. So uh, what I'm trying to get across to you is if you're president of the United States, whoever is, it's got to change or we're going to have another 9-11. It's going to be 10 times worse than it was. And, and I believe that firmly. Last word on this subject. I, I, I totally... No, I totally agree. And, and look, we both know from being kids growing up in a schoolyard that if there's a bully, the only way the bully stops being a bully is when somebody punches his lights out and he's no longer a bully. And the United States is going to have to quit pretending that you can tame a bully. You're going to have to bust the bully and end him. Okay, and we've baby. got to start from the top of these jihadist organizations, work our way down, and, and quit acting like we're weak and act we like are we're weak. strong. It's not like we're acting like we're weak. We are weak. We don't have the political will we don't have to, to defeat be. this enemy. They didn't have it in the 1930s. They didn't have the political will to defeat the Japanese or the 